Hello people, thank you for joining and I have something to say. Please don't buy any more Assassin's Creed games. Don't do it. Don't even like look at Assassin's Creed news because what they're putting out at this moment is just they're beating a dead horse. Like is literally what they're doing. Assassin's Creed should have been over by now, but like not only are they beating that horse that's dead, they're like shooting it like getting every single drop of blood that they can out of this horse. Like they're just this horse let it die. Like let it just go. Jesus. Ubisoft. I don't know what to say. But you remember back in two thousand and seven when Assassin's Creed first came out? It wasn't a big name game. But it was state of the art. It was a masterpiece. It was revolutionary for its time. The game mechanics, the game was so smooth. The action sequences and the fighting was so smooth that it made the game too easy. It had a great story going for it. The graphics were awesome. Well, for that time anyway, the graphics were awesome. It just had everything going for it. It was Ubisoft's golden, golden egg, and they knew it. Fast forward to 2009, where you have Assassin's Creed 2. Two years later, note that, two years later, you have Assassin's Creed 2. Another well-received Assassin's Creed game. Not only was this Assassin's Creed game well received, but it was also, again, revolutionary. They added even more to the gameplay that we already love from Assassin's Creed 1. They added different weapons you could use, different assassinations, different fighting styles, and they added more to the story. They expanded on the story. There was no sign that Assassin's Creed was really going to go to shit. It looked like it was going to have a beginning with Assassin's Creed, a middle with Assassin's Creed 2, and then it was going to have an end with, with, with whatever Assassin's Creed 3 would be. So then you go forward a year, they put out Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. To give you more story on Ezio and to add a multiplayer gameplay. Which I thought, okay, they want to give you more background on Ezio. Ezio is a beast. I mean, who wouldn't want to play more as Ezio? He was much better than uh, Altair. Altair was kind of bland and boring. Who wouldn't want to play as Ezio? So we let that one slide. 2010. 2011, though, Assassin's Creed Revelations. At this point, the story's going nowhere. You don't really know much about Juno and blah, blah, blah. We don't know what the fuck is going on. Literally, like, the story is not progressing at all. Assassin's Creed 3 comes around 2012. The next main game in the sequence of Assassin's Creed games. So like, I don't know how else to say this, but this is, this is pretty much where I mean, you know that they're just beating a dead horse before this, but this is where it becomes like, you can't, you can't deny it at this point, because, like, they pretty much just shit on the story. Like, the story just gets destroyed at this point. There's not much more, uh, I guess, there's no expansion on the story. Instead of ending the story here, the story takes such a far left turn, you don't know what the fuck is going to happen next. Not because they did a good job concealing, but just because there's just so much bullshit that you just don't know where the story can go at this point. 
Like I wish I could I wish I could go much more in depth with this. But I don't even feel like it. It's just so much that you'd have to go in depth on. Like why the fuck is Juno there? Like why? Anyway, I guess so much that I'd have to go in depth on. So Counter dies and you're like, oh, who the fuck are we gonna use the animus on now? Really? It should have just ended right there and just said it was a crappy Assassin's Creed ending. That should have been what happened. But nope. They used their far left turn to just make a bunch of Assassin's Creed games. Sergo doesn't need Desmond Miles to go in the past anymore because they have his DNA. I don't even know how the fuck that works. It's so confusing. Like it doesn't make any fucking sense. So they make Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Which has the worst story. I don't even remember the dude's name. From Assassin's Creed 4. But I'm pretty sure his name was like Kenway. And you don't know how the hell he becomes an assassin. Like, there's no even story of training or anything. You just use him and he's automatically, like, great at killing stuff. We don't know anything about this guy, though. Assassin's Creed Rogue, after that. Like, these are all... Also, I skipped something. After Assassin's Creed 3 and 4. Specifically, Ubisoft was warned by the fans. Please, please do not put these games out every year don't do that like we want good gameplay we want good stories we don't want this game to come out every year we don't want it to be call of duty or madden this is a story driven game no good story can like it no just don't do that so what did they do they said okay guys we hear you all we won't put this game out once a year. We're going to do Assassin's Creed Unity and Assassin's Creed Rogue. And we're going to just put those bitches out in the same exact year. Mm-hmm. I don't even know the story for Assassin's Creed Rogue and Unity. But I do know a year after Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed Rogue and Unity, we now have Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Does anybody know where the story is going anymore? Like, please comment and tell me where the story is headed. Headed, because I don't understand. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. Like, why do people keep buying this game? Is it is is it the multiplayer? Is it because you hope that this story gets ended or expanded upon? Why do you keep buying Assassin's Creed? I challenge you not to buy Assassin's Creed anymore. I've never said this about a game. I don't even say this about Madden. Don't buy Assassin's Creed anymore. There's no reason to. The story is never going to end. It's never. And if it does end, there's going to be prequels upon prequels. And then what ifs? And then what could be's? And then what had happened was... Like they're just, they're just not gonna stop making Assassin's Creed games if this just, if it keeps going on like this. Just, just make them stop. That's all I ask. Hopefully you like the video, subscribe to the channel, give me your opinions on it because I can't stand this game anymore.